Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick refresher video for you guys on how to get your images into Lightroom. Um, and I'm actually going to show you the quickest and easiest way. This is not necessarily the way that I recommend if you're using school computers, but I'll make another video to show you how to move these around to make sure that they're protected and not left on a school computer where they could potentially be deleted. So this again this is the easiest fastest way that I typically recommend if you're editing on your own personal computer so I have my SD card here so it's plugged in so I'm just gonna go ahead and open Lightroom and I need to import these images of course so I'm going to click import and by default it's going to go ahead and um, select on your SD card here for your import dialog. Um, a lot of these images, this is from a, an old card, so a lot of these have been imported before. And that is over here on the right side where it says don't import suspected duplicates. That's why these that have been imported before and are currently on a hard drive are not selected. So I'm going to uncheck that. <coughs> And I'm also going to uncheck all photos here so that I can choose the ones that I want. And I'm going to go down here to the bottom. Let's just bring in some of these promo images I did. So I'll click on that first one. Oops, sorry, can't do it that way. You have to actually check all the ones that you want. So I'm just going to check a few of these. This is, again, just to show you how to get them in here. Let's check a few of those there. And then when I have all the images selected that I want to bring into Lightroom, I just click import. And that will put all these images into a gallery here. And once these images are in, I can go to the develop module. And remember, we spoke about these for your light painting. So this one's underexposed. This is one where I was using some off camera light. So exposure would benefit that one. This is not the best. This is like a trash image. Let me find one that's actually workable. There we go. Um, use the exposure to bump that up some. You can use contrast to make to separate my lights and my blacks. Pull the highlights down a little because that light is clipping a little bit there. Can pull the shadows up some if I want to see more of the background. Whites to brighten there. These are the main things that we're using, and then vibrance and saturation. Um, we're going to go more in depth into this stuff as we go throughout the semester, but this is basically your first experience with Lightroom, so I just want to show you the main controls there. Then I'm going to, let's go into this one as well and fix this. Sorry, one of my dogs is very thirsty and drinking right now, if you hear that in the background. Let's take this one here do a little bit of edits to that okay so then I go back to library mode I'm just toggling between develop and library and so these two images are the ones that I just did a very very quick edit to so if I want to export these two as my final then I click on this one hold command or control if you have a PC click the other one see they're both selected here and then go over here to export. And then to export them, I'm gonna send them to the desktop, which is what I have by default. You can choose that location here. And then I like to put them in a subfolder. So this would be Ashboro Basketball Promo Finals whatever you'd like to call it. I'll do 
AHS for Ashburn High School B ball promo. And I have this set to custom name sequence and my start number is one. So these images will be one and two. And go down here, make sure my quality is boosted up to 100 so that you have a nice big JPEG file here. And that's it really. And once that's good, you hit export. And you can see that it has made this folder over here, Ash Ashboro Basketball Promo Finals. And if I click on that, the JPEGs of these images are in there ready to go. And then you would take that and upload it. And just as a little bonus nugget here, when you get to this point, you can right click on this folder. If right click isn't working, you can do control click on a Mac. Um, right click should always work on a PC. Just depends on how the mouse is set up. But if I right click on this, I can go down to compress. And it'll make a zip file here. This is the folder that you would upload to Moodle for the assignment. And that'll have all those images in one zip file and you don't have to upload them individually. And if you name them correctly when you're exporting them, as you can see, AHS B-Ball Promo 1, AHS B-Ball Promo 2. And if you put your name in that, it makes everybody's life easier. So, hope that was helpful for those that couldn't be with us this week. Uh, just use this as a review if you ever need it on the quickest way to get things in there. I'll make several videos like this throughout the semester as we go along to basically enhance your knowledge of Lightroom. All right. See you guys soon. Bye.